and welcome back to Magnetic Pod. So a lot of people talk to me about podcasting naturally and if they don't have a podcast a lot of them will be or even if they do a lot of them will focus on what can I do to get more downloads and how can I monetize and all of these sort of things which is all very fair but I think a lot of people a hidden gem of podcasting to many people and something that is overlooked is the ability to grow your business in ways that are other than the actual listeners becoming part of your mailing list and then buying your thing or whatever. Of course, that's part of it. But I wanted to focus on this other dimension that is huge and that can happen very quickly. Hey, my name is Olivia D'Souza. I'm dedicated to helping multi-passionate entrepreneurs turn their dreams into reality by building a career and a life they love and making a positive impact in the world. I'm a podcast and social media manager, a singer-songwriter, a kids' music creator, a fadishta, a wife and a mum. I'm the secret weapon behind many six- and seven-figure entrepreneurs, helping them shine a line and call in the people they are here to serve. And now I'm here to help you. This podcast is here to help you learn and be inspired. You will learn about podcasting, lead generation, business, and all about the real life stories of people behind the businesses just like you. Think of it as a place to hang out with your like-minded business bestie who gets what it's like. So grab a cuppa and hit subscribe so we can hang out again. This is Magnetic Pod, the podcast. I am here and I'm ready to be brave. Cannot miss me, I'll stand on every stage. I'm available for my destiny to reach my people. I wanted to focus on this other dimension that is faster really than the growing of the podcast. So that's what I'm talking about today and it's one of my favourite, 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 favourite parts of podcasting. So as I'm, as you may know if you've listened to previous episodes but I will briefly touch on it again, my first introduction to starting podcasting myself was when I worked for another company and it was done in tandem with becoming part of the networking group in the area because we were B2B, business to business. Our target market was very clearly defined. It was very businesses within a particular radius of where we were because we did urgent deliveries. And and so it was clients with more than about 10 plus employees. And so it was in our interest to get to know the local businesses. So it made sense to join the local networking group and I joined and I had done so on previous times, but with less commitment, to be honest, as kind of go along to this thing without the commitment and we we would swap business cards, maybe do some follow-up calls or emails. And this time when we've said, when we sort of looked at it and went, well, look, this is such a, an obvious place to go to try and build relationships and ultimately get clients, let's go all in this time. And we came upon the idea of doing the podcast. And it made so much sense, but even more so when actually implementing it. And so I created a podcast and it it became the way that I could reach out to people. So instead of sending an email and and going, oh, it was lovely to meet you and making all this (laughs) small talk and then finding out if they were ready to change suppliers and all this sort of salesy stuff, I could approach people that would be interesting to be people to be on the podcast, but also I could have a reason to contact them that wasn't salesy at all and that actually offered them something that was, although our products and our value and everything was there but you know people don't people like to buy people don't like to be sold to so if you can reach out to them by offering a what's in it for them type of scenario then that's a lot easier to build a relationship with so I would interview people who had something to say that would be of value to the target market so something that people in business would be interested in and I interviewed accountants and work cover people and marketing people and various people, but they got the opportunity to 
get in front of our audience. There was something in it for them. They got an opportunity to brag about their services and and I got content for the podcast and I got to know them. But what happened is that I became known in that local community and I ended up getting more out of it than I had in mind, like being invited to join the board because I was becoming prominent and being offered opportunities and being offered a speaking gig and asked to run a workshop and and from there I ended up being asked to help other people with their podcasts and so on and so on but it was a networking tool and even today it's a it's a way that I can use or that clients can use to be able to to if you want to get on someone else's podcast you can opt for something reciprocal if you're going to be in front of their audience you can actually offer it back as well and I've done that recently with genuinely wanting to offer wanting to do reciprocal podcast interviews and wanting to offer value to the people whose podcasts I'm on but out of that and to sort of naturally and without really trying I have ended up getting business because they've got to know me got to find out what I do got to find out what I can do with the videos and repurposing them and going oh my god that looks really engaging is that what you do here (laughs) do mine and and I didn't have to sell so another example I was recently asked to run a workshop on podcasting and I was asked okay what would you do in a situation for my business and I'll call this lady Jenny to say Jenny has a business that she provides services for children. She does different sorts of exercises and things for children, but she's got a special interest in neurodiverse kids, so kids with learning disabilities or autism or ADHD or whatever they may have, that she can help them to be able to regulate their emotions and do better at school or in childcare and help teachers as well how could she use podcasting and well she could do a podcast that is to do with say kids growth mindset or something like that right and then she could have she could interview her clients that she does services for if she gets them on the podcast they will be most likely happy because they get to talk about their centre and pretty much advertise themselves. So they're happy to do that. But in the process of doing that, they're also giving her a testimonial in a very casual, unscripted, believable way that gets recorded hopefully on video because these days podcasts with videos are very, very powerful. There's so much more you can do with them, but even not. Uh, you still have the audio and you'd still get a transcript to do something with. So you get these quotes and you get your listeners to hear and you get your testimonials. I mean, we always have to remind and ask people to give testimonials uh, often. And for this way, they do it without even thinking about it. So then you could also think, well, Jenny could also think, okay, who else would I like to do business with or who is influential or who's on my wish list of people I'd love to them to know that I that I exist you know and this and having a platform would give her a reason an excuse something of value to be able to reach out to anyone else in the space that say deals with in this example neurodiverse children and she could interview them if they are a provider that is say complementary but not the same and they in that provider or that organization gets to again promote what they do and she gets the content that is good and she also gets to in conversation talk about what she believes and why she's passionate and fired up and that will come out in a very natural easy way but that, like she's also on their radar now and so when they're trying to think of someone who can help in the particular area and she's the one that is serves that area she's made contacts and she could get referrals and this is what happens I was on a podcast recently where the person mentioned that that was a benefit that came out of podcasting and and she's getting referrals and speaking gigs and stuff like that so all this to say that 
podcasting is a platform that does so many more things than you may have realized. So if you think it's just about the content and it's and building up your downloads and serving your listeners, yes, 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 of course it is that. But it is so much more. It is what can feed your social media. It is a way that you can get what's in your head out and and then from there it can be put on a transcript. It can be created into written content, sales content. You can give it to a copywriter or me. <laughs> me, I do all these things. I do all the repurposing. And it can, you know, feed all your social media, put it over on YouTube shorts and TikToks and reels and all of the other things. But it is a tool to make relationships, to create and form relationships and be able to do your networking from home and do the one activity that ticks all of those boxes. So I think that's something that maybe people don't realise or think about and I just wanted to bring it to your attention. Do you have any comments, questions? Let me know. You can find me. My handle everywhere is at Livy Music Media, L-I-V-V-I Music Media. So Instagram or anywhere. And I'll see you next time. Bye. I'm available for my destiny. Hello, it's Livy here. Have you ever wondered about what the key elements are that make a podcast truly stand out? Or maybe you're thinking about starting your own special podcast and feel a bit overwhelmed and don't know where to start. Well, I have something for you. Introducing the ultimate podcast checklist. Da, 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 da. It's a step by step guide that covers everything from the initial brainstorming to advanced growth strategies. It's the perfect companion for both new and seasoned podcasters. And the best part, it's absolutely free. Da, 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 da. <laughs> to grab your copy, simply head to the show notes of this episode and you will find a direct link there. And then away you go. Remember, every podcast started with that initial spark and the right resource. So let the ultimate podcasting checklist be yours.